Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Learn Web Coding. My name is Durgesh Sahani and we are creating series of video tutorials for CRUD operation in React using PHP API and MySQL database. So in the last series we have in the last session we have seen how to uh, use routing into React. In this session I'm going to show you how to create a database, how to create a table and then maybe we will design a form for it. So I'm using a uh, vamp in my case so uh, I can simply access uh, this is my local host and I can access PHP my admin which is a tool okay let's little bit zoom it out okay so this is the database I'm having uh, database management tool PHP my admin uh, and uh, my case I'm using MySQL with version 5.7 I'm just going to create, if you're not familiar with this tool, it's a very simple GUI interface for uh, working with MySQL database. So I'm just going to create a, a database and I'm just going to name it React um, CRUD. Database got created here. Now inside it, you can create a table. So I'm just going to create table users with four to five fields. Uh, first one be ID, integer, and you can specify a length or you can ignore it for now because we are going to use primary key. Um, and just go and also let's do one more thing here. Uh, okay, auto increment. Just make sure it is true so that uh, it will autom automatically increase the value of this ID. Then we will be needing a name. It should be string, string. So, and I think 50 character is enough. Then we will save email address. Again, wirecare and 60 is enough. And finally, we will be needing mobile. And for this, I think we can use a big integer. And uh, we can use length 10. Uh, and finally created at we can use here timestamp uh, I think we can have one more column we can say updated at and again use the same timestamp finally it is ready let's go ahead and uh, say invalid default value for updated at created at updated at we have not set up any default value but okay save this now as you can see we have created one table id name email mobile number created at updated at along with the data types and all you can see and this is auto increment uh, ID is primary key and it is auto increment. So our database is ready. Now we have to design a form which should accept this data and send it to PHP and PHP will be sending that data to this database. Now let's go ahead and here I'm just going to create uh, or show form and which will be having following fields. So let's go to the code and design or work on this create user. Uh, component let's wrap it to do okay and here I'm just going to create a form and inside it we have to create a label Okay, this is name and input type text name name only. Let's copy this.
save. button so here if you refresh you got these values but i think we can use br maybe here okay um so almost our page is ready and uh, once user click on this oh we have to modify this to email mobile and mobile here also so we have all these values now actually you can use to format all these things you can use table div or something like that generally we use um, for the actual development, we use Bootstrap, uh, React component uh, based things. Uh, and also maybe you can go for uh, ma material UI, uh, like forms designing. But I'm just going to show you guys a very simple functionality, how you can use it. So you can use anyone. I'm just going to use a uh, quickly uh, table so that it, it will look little good uh, and here body and then tr and then th and finally t d and let's four times Use the second one. Paste it here. Third one. This is optional actually. I'm just for lit formatting little bit for you so that it will look little good. Otherwise it is completely, you can ignore this one. Okay, and just remove these things, save this page, and there you go. Here we have our, you can minimize it. Okay, and we can use um, a line equal to right, and one more thing, call span equal to two. So we have here our our uh, form is ready and we can just say one more thing cell spacing equal to maybe 10 save okay so our form is ready now um now we what we have to do is we have to uh, actually see if you click on this uh, form as you can see the form is refreshing so we have to manually handle it's a submit and uh, prevent it it's default behavior so you can use on submit equal to and simply you can say handle um, submit and let's create this function at the top somewhere const function and we'll be having a parameter event and use this event and say prevent default method so it will be prevent preventing its default behavior of form submission like this see um, now this is done and one more thing we have to actually maintain the state of this input box whenever the value of input box is getting changed we have to um, maintain that and to do that we can use uh, use state uh, webhook uh, sorry not webhook actually hooks in uh, react here you have to specify 
what will be the default value of uh, your um, input state so I'm just going to use const and it accept two things first one is uh, the name so in my case I'm just going to use inputs and the second one is set inputs okay now what we can do whenever any changes happen here so you can use on change event and uh, you can specify handle change so we have to define the same function again this function also here somewhere so I'm just going to say const handle change equal to again event and within this function with the help of event you will be able to uh, get the name and the value of the um, input box so here I'm just going to say name equal to event dot target dot name um, so it will return the name and similarly you can also get the value okay if you get both the value then we have to just set the inputs variable right so you can use set uh, inputs method and uh, here you can say values equal like this and then opening opening curly bracket values comma name colon value so it will be setting the value and if you just wanted to print this value here let's say on submit uh, the form console.log and just say inputs if you refresh the page here and you are going to enter some values let's set this and this value okay if you open the console you should be seeing that this data see values and here you have a name okay only name because I think we have just used this event at one place uh, only so you have to go and set it to email set it to mobile now refresh the page and uh, select the zone or enter the same values and you will be seeing here is the values uh, mobile uh, values oh wait I think here there is some okay and I just wanted to say three dots so what it will do is it will create a single one only uh, let's see here My name and then the number and then save there you go so you have uh, as you can see the JSON value is setting properly like email uh, mobile and name so now we have we got the values we have uh, handled the states now what we have to do is we have to call the APIs of PHP and uh, that should be taking care of saving the data to database and retrieving and all those things so in the next session I'll show you guys how to save this data into database